Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. We're gonna part three of Let's Play Brain Lord, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now off camera, I decided to go back to that room with all the moving platforms, the giant pit, and these three doors. Why am I back here? Well, it turns out there was a secret room that I missed in this particular room. You have to push this wall over here, and it takes you to a secret passage. Now, I believe this secret passage has little to or no enemies at all. Okay, there are some enemies, but that's okay. But the only reason you're here is to find some secret treasure. Yeah, so this room I missed. And it's very easy to miss because not many people think to push the wall. Including myself. And I found the magic wallet. And I found a mushroom. The mushroom just gives you 10 HP, meaning it's stronger than cheese. As for the magic wallet, what that does is, well, it has no money, but it magically accumulates money. I don't know if it takes your initial money, or it just collects new money altogether. And that money does not get cut by half when you die. Because when you do die in this game, you lose half your money. With the magic wallet, that doesn't happen. So I don't know if it gets its own money, or if it steals from you. Just to make sure you have something to steal take with you in the event that you do get killed. Getting another warp gate is nice. I was pushing that wall. Apparently there's nothing. And there's another heart. So there's an HP upgrade that can be easily missed. So I will definitely take that. Thank you very much. So now my HP's at 9, I believe. Can that be seen, Stas? Yes, it can. Okay. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, is there anything else? Oh yeah, I gotta pay attention to this key. It's obvious how to use this key found on the second floor of the Tower of Light. Wow, a very condescending description, don't you think? But, you know what? I think that's pretty much all the treasure in this very room. Let me go over the wallet again. Maybe something changed? Oh, it has 10 gold, so it doesn't take from you. What happens if you actually use the wallet? Okay, so you can add it to yourself at any time. That's actually very nice. If you spend, like, a lot of time with the game on, your magic wallet can pick up a nice bit of money. I don't know if you're actually supposed to be moving all the time, or if you can just let the game sit still, and it will accumulate money inside the wallet. If it's the latter, I mean, you got a great source of money, if you're actually looking forward to keeping the game on the whole time. That's entirely up to you. Okay, so this is the door we were unable to unlock before. So I will definitely use this key now, because that description just really breaks my heart. Okay, we're dealing with a bit of slowdown, because apparently boulders and rocks are their own sprite. Yeah, I know. Alright, so I have to think about how I'm going to solve this puzzle here. And I'm pretty sure it's going to evolve doing this. I'm going to push these rocks on the uh, switches on the left and the right side. As for the boulders, I'm going to push one up, and then I'm going to push the one behind it up as well. Here, let me demonstrate it, because it's much easier to show you rather than tell you. We're going to do it like this. If I push the bottom one up, then I'll have to push it to the right, and then I can't pull it back out. Yeah, but boulders, I mean to say. Not... never mind. I got the x-ray glasses from Roan! I had a duplicate pair made at the tool shop. So I'll give these to you! Here! Ah, oh, awesome! Okay, the way the x-ray glasses work is they allow you to have a map of where you are. Only for that specific floor, though. Yeah, it's not very well described. The gray parts are the walls, and of course the blue part is where you can walk on, the flashing dot is you, and the other black spots are pits. Okay, since you're going to be using this a lot, I would highly suggest putting it over here. That way, you actually can just go to your x-ray glasses at any time. Well, how many items you're carrying will not affect your movement speed, but it will just affect your inventory management. Yes, I will definitely save here. Hey, Rain. Use a- I know how the warp gates work, and how I lose money when I die. Okay, there's another locked door over here. 
Let me take a look at the x-ray glasses to see what this floor is like. Okay, I believe this is the third floor. And if I go over to the left door, then I gotta deal with some pits. Fair enough. I believe that'll be my next destination. So I don't want to skip any rooms, especially if you're gonna have treasure, like keys, for instance. I meant to give that to Bragg, but that's alright. Don't worry, there are certain enemies that actually do give you an unlimited amount of jade pieces. But I don't think it's in this dungeon, we'll have to wait till later to get there. I think there's more than one place for that. But for now, we'll just have to focus on getting individual ones. The Iron Sword, that's awesome, and the Round Shield! Okay, I've taken four damage with the Buckler, so you know what? I think I'm gonna hold on to this shield for now. Because remember, the greater the shield, the more resistance it has, but it doesn't increase your defense at all. An Ancient Black Metal Sword? It has the same power as the bow, but I prefer swords. I'm more of a swordsman than an archer. I mean, when I'm playing Skyrim or Oblivion, I tend to have a mix of the two. Like in close combat, I prefer swords, but before an enemy sees me, I want to use a bow. There's just something about using a bow in first-person shooters or games like Skyrim that give you an, a nice bit of satisfaction when you can pick an enemy off. There's a phantom floor ahead. Okay, so in other words, take your time. So if you don't, you're gonna fall. So just advance every little bit by bit and pay attention to the parts that are completely safe. Any bit of the floor that has debris on it, like pebbles for instance, that's entirely safe. And also, another bit of advice, the enemies will never walk over the phantom floor. So if they're not gonna cross a certain point, that means it's, well, the phantom floor. Yeah, the red steel balls. They'll roll after you and you can't destroy them. Oh yeah, apparently I looked up online that the maximum level for Jades is 19. Not 15 or 16, as I mentioned before. Why 19? I have no idea. I think it would make more sense if you had it as 20. Because 19 just seems like a rather asinine number. There's just nothing about it that makes sense. It's a prime number, for Christ's sake. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, can I push this wall? No. I was thinking you could. But apparently no. Do you need armor? Sure, why not? But first, let's sell the armor I'm not using. 4,000 gold for that? Sign me up. And then I'll get rid of the copper sword. Because remember, I got an iron sword now. Uh, let's see. All of this I already have, so there's really no point of getting it. I mean, you could sell your buckler for another round shield. But for 3,000 gold, I'd rather save my money. Is there anything else I can sell? Hmm. 50 gold for the magic wallet? Does it have 50 gold? At least they're gonna make some money. That's all that matters to you, I suppose. It only has 10 gold. Eh, it's not worth it, really. If it's always gonna be 50 gold, no matter how much money is in there. Let's see where this leads me. So if I go, like, um... Well, I'm gonna have, like, a long travel regardless, it seems. Okay... I think I will just go over there. Is there like a hidden wall somewhere to the north? I think so. I sound like some kind of dot. Not a detour key. I don't know what it's for. Oh wait, I think I know now. Use close by. So it wasn't really important, but just more of a shortcut. Let me go over this again, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, the part with the phantom floor. I think I should just go back there and check out that dot. So if that's a hidden passage, I could get better items. So why don't we go over that, shall we? Just to be 100% sure. I don't want to leave any more stones unturned. 
That's why it's a good idea to have your x-ray glasses on your first slot. Because remember, whenever you go to your inventory, you're always going to be on the first slot first. That's why it's called the first slot. Duh. Wait a minute, maybe like these dots are just the memos. So if that's the case... And eh, looks that way. Yeah, I think it is just the memos. Fair enough. Yeah, it kind of makes sense now, really. Yeah, right there, right next to the entrance before I entered. There's a dot right there, that means it's a memo. Oh, I just wasted time. Okay, let's just go back to the rest of this room, and then I'll just go to the path I haven't taken yet. Well, my buckler just lost a bit of endurance. Eh, it's extra bit of money, so it wouldn't hurt. All I'm spending is time. Besides, my jades are still getting some ass kicking done, which is awesome for me. Okay, so obviously I don't want to go up and to the left. I've already been there. So which way should I go? That'll probably take me to where I need to be. Uh, let's see. And the end, it doesn't even matter. Like a Lincoln Park cover. So I think I'll just go over here. Can't do it like that. Instead, I gotta do it like this. Wait, let me go over this one more time to be compared to these two rooms. I think I should go to the left one first. Because it has a shorter amount of stuff. If I go to the right, I got a long path. So I might as well just check out the left one, then go to the right. That's why you gotta pay attention to these map layouts, you don't really want to miss anything, and that was just for a spring of life, it seems. No point to go there if I was already at full health, but I did it anyway. Alright, so we're gonna go this way now. Hey, Bonga! How are you? Me? Uh, thanks to the x-ray glasses I got from Cassian, I found my way without getting lost. You'll be able to look at a floor of the dungeon. It doesn't take that long. You don't consume magic. You can wear it as many times as you want. Okay, this guy's gonna be a pain in the ass, unless you had the bow again. And Cole just grab more experience. That'll help out. Okay, now I think this boulder doesn't stop at all when you push it. Uh, I think I'm gonna go... I think I want to go left first, so let's do that. Yeah, it bounces. Hmm. How are we going to do this, then? Uh, did I screw it up? I don't think so. I think it's still recoverable. But I got to do it like this. And I gotta hold on to the door as soon as possible because I'm gonna get, get past the switch. Like so. And there you go, that's how you get through. Whoa, this guy looks tough. He has a sword and he has a shield as well. But I bet y'all get a lot of money by beating him. You can use your magic if you want. Giving it everything you got. Ooh, and get cheese for that. But 400 gold? I don't know if it's worth it. Magic is the key to this room. Okay. Hmm. I think I know what it means. Yeah, you have to hit that chest with magic. Maybe you can use your bow as well? I'm not sure. Okay, this part can be tricky. I gotta lure the boulders away from me. So I can get to the chest. The crossroads key. Okay, I needed that. That's good news. Anything else over here? No. I guess we'll just leave. But picking up that key is gonna go a long way. Uh, is that green guy back? No. Maybe it was just a mid-boss or something. 
Alright, so I don't really need any of these pressed anymore. Luckily, I can still go through here. Okay, now I want to go to the right side. Let's check out where this leads. Hopefully somewhere good. I want to get to that chest over there. Hmm, should I go this way? Uh, it looks that way. Yep, we made it. Source of power? Awesome. Now, I believe you can actually get, like, three stat points up, if you're lucky. If you don't think you're gonna get it, just reset the game, and then try again until you're happy with what you got. I'm not gonna go through all of that, because really, you can do just fine, even if you get the minimal upgrades every single time. But if you want the maximum, just keep resetting until you get what you want. That option is there. Haha, <laughs> you suck. Okay, now this part's an absolute pain in the ass, because you have to remember, like, what buttons should be pressed. And it gets so framey just because they're freaking rocks. They don't even move. You just move them. Okay, looks like there's a plaque down here. Is there anything else? Ah, yes. Oh, another heart. That's great. So now I have 10 HP. Let's see what this plaque reads. There are six places to open two doors. After you push the two steel balls, stop and think. Huh, <laughs> balls. Okay, so where do I push these balls? Well, obviously I gotta push them over here. Okay, so if I weigh this switch down, I can go to the door on the right. But, okay, so it looks like I don't need these two switches pressed at the same time for the left door. Fair enough. Then we'll go this way. Oh, jeez! Now these things you can't destroy. Magic missile? Okay, this takes a lot of time to charge. Fair enough, that's not bad, I guess. And luckily, you can still move while charging. So that's a very nice feature. Let me push this over here. And I think I'm gonna weigh down the left switch with the steel ball. If I do that... Uh, it doesn't look that obvious, though. So let me try weighing down this one, too. Okay, now this part can be tricky. So how am I gonna do this? Good question. I mean, I gotta weigh this down somehow. Okay, since I know that switch is very important, maybe I should keep one of the steel balls out of this. <coughs> that way I'll have an escape route. So we'll start with this one. And then push this one over here. Um, hmm. No, I don't want to push that over there. Push the steel ball on this switch. Okay, this one needs to be weighed down for sure. Alright, we gotta figure it figured out now. So I can finally make my escape. I mean, I could have just used a warp gate that would have made things a lot, a lot easier. But it would be much better to actually show you if you did not have a warp gate. Alright, so I guess we'll just go down here. I might want to consider using an apple, but at the same token, I'm doing just fine, really. I don't have to worry that much, especially since there's a spring of life over nearby. Like over here. And 
there you go. I just got my health back without using any of my items. Now, let's see. Where does this crossroads key go? I haven't checked out any of the rooms down here. Actually, I think this is the only way I can go. Okay, does the crossroads key go here? Oh, it won't go in. So I need a different key. Fair enough. Okay, so there's another locked door. Gotcha. And there, we're in. I'm not really a fan of the magic missile, but I'll, let's try it out. Okay, it has some decent power. And it tracks around for quite a while. Which is nice. Okay, let's take a look at this room. This, this is a very convenient feature, even though there's not a ton of detail. But you know what? I'll take it. You know what? Maybe I should just go to the far right. After I scour that entire area, I'm going to stop the video and then continue on later. This is a pretty long first dungeon. Don't get me wrong. Trust me on this one. Okay, how am I going to make this work? Okay, I think I know. Do it like this. Have the boulder chase me. There. Hey, Barnus, what's up? No rocks or weights in this room. Yeah. Still need one more person to go into the room? Okay, so I have to go back. You know what? I think I'm going to ask Rain for this. Seeing as how I saw him in the hallway. So why don't I do that in the next video, okay? See you later, everyone.